Good morning and welcome to Jeff's Trips. Today's trip is going to be going downtown to the museum, Cincinnati Museum. Um, it's going to be a great day. We're going to go check out some things. Uh, hopefully, I'm assuming that most of the stuff has been opened. Um, they did a lot of renovations here recently and uh, as of two years ago, half of the museum still wasn't open. So hopefully we go back today um, that other half will be open. That'll be cool. Um, so yeah, today's 54 degrees here in Cincinnati. Um, 54 and raining, which may sound not great, but considering it's about 60 or 70 degrees warmer than it was last week at this time, that's pretty awesome. Um, you know what they say about Cincinnati weather. If you don't like the weather, wait 10 minutes and it'll change. So got this morning's coffee acquired and we are ready for action. on down the line. All right, we're pulling into Union Terminal, which is um, otherwise known as Cincinnati Museum. They translated it to the museum 20 years ago or about. This building was slated to be torn down and then they uh, refurbished it and turned it into the Cincinnati Museum. Which was an awesome thing. We'll just pull on up here and get a closer view. Maybe I'll have Brady run in and check the door to see if it's open. We're probably going to have to have our ticket ready in here. Cool. Yeah, we got a lot of dinosaurs in here. We're not really sure what they're gonna have open or not open here today, but they've definitely redone this side. Got some shadows on the wall from the dinosaurs walking by. That's stupid. But that's neat. Is the skull to the T-Rex, is that real or is that uh, a that's re- a cast. It's a cast. Okay. But somewhere in some museum somewhere, they have a real one. I think it's the Chicago one I think I've seen up there. Yeah, so... Uh they have uh, Sue at the Field Museum, which is the, the largest. That's right. The yeah. It's been a few years since I've been up there. 
Really? Oh, that's cool. 80% complete. Everything in white is original or real bone. Jackrabbit. This is in the uh, full area or the mammal area. Bobcat. Skunk. Raccoon. All these animals can do damage to your car. There's a tornado machine. That's as, that's as far as it goes. Oh, there's more, you got more. Come on, a little bit more. That's as far as it goes. All right, get on up there. Get on up there. See if you still got it. Come on, a little bit more. You got it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> 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 They're gonna be sore tomorrow after that. It's hard. I hurt my rope burn on my hand. You don't want to get out the garter stake? Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's cool. Is it a gardener stake or a garter? Garter. It's cool. Most of the other ones. He's actually not been out in a little bit, so Aww. he needs to get a little bit of love. Need to get to.
He failed the eye test. <laughs> Looks like some kind of Medusa arm wristband type thing. <laughs> There's a bison. Giant bison. Extinct animal is the largest bison species ever to roam North America. Weighed more than 4,000 pounds. It's cool. Not to be confused with the beer cave. It sounds scary in here. Head on down to the cave. It's pretty dark and scary down here. Yeah. And then, like, it opened up into a big room, and then there was, like, Oh, well, you can climb to get to like the top. <laughs> <laughs> Fake? Yeah. No, nah, that's real. They built the museum next to a cave. You know, they not to touch them. In real life, yeah, you're not oh. supposed to touch them. Because the oil from your skin kills them. Oh. Because then they don't grow anymore. The ones from the ceiling are a stalactite, and the one from the ground is a stalagmite. Because the ones from the ceiling have to hold tight and the ones from the bottom have to have a lot of mite to grow up and meet it in the middle. That's what we think, yeah. That's what they're portraying. This looks like the cave in the movie Logan's Run when they escape the city. Or escape the area where they were living.
We remove that rock and make a groove, just like the glacier would do. Yeah, in the Ice Age. Big polar bear. They got this down in the basement. It used to be like right when you would come into the, this section. It's cool. We're getting ready to go to Mars. We're going to try to. Getting dizzy for a second. I got dizzy when I walked. You're gonna say you heard something? No. This is trip to the moon. The date is December 14, 1972. Apollo 17 mission commander Gene Sermon and geologist Harrison Schmidt have spent three days on the moon, exploring. That was probably the last time. In the valley of Taurus Lintra. This is a movie you can watch about going to the moon down here in the basement of the museum center. This is the dining area. Everything all original. That's crazy. Talk about not being around anybody. This is a Antarctica exploration exhibit. There's some clothes from back in the day. Survival gear of Terra Nova. A 
That's how they go to Antarctica in this plains. Those are the seats. This is a dinosaur exhibit we're in. The first part of it was Antarctica. All kinds of neat stuff in here. If you have a little scientist in your house, they'd want to come here. Got a couple of dinosaur. Uh, most of this one looks like it's real. The white portions are what's real. Now we're on the Cincinnati side, city of Cincinnati history. This is a uh, cab that you would use to get you from the train station to wherever other place you're going. That was back before they had all the train stations here. And you would go from one, you would get off one train, have to get in one of these with all your stuff and go to another train until they built Union Terminal and they brought all the train stations in Cincinnati together. Suspension bridge, paddle wheel boat on the river. Castellini, we've been here forever. They own the Reds, unfortunately. This is basically a mock up of 1940s Cincinnati. That's like the, that's the Mount Adams incline, I think which is all gone.
Here's a building on fire over here. Fire department showed up, putting the fire out. Parking garage. Yeah, this is the rendition of Union Terminal. See the trains in the back? The cabs and buses so would come phone, in. Is the phone still running today? I think it, I, well, it's, I think it's out there. For the season. And then the trains came in the back. So therefore it was a both way. Yeah, and there was a lot more state uh, platforms out back too than what's on in this. Four? Yeah. Now I think there's just one. Well, back in the day, how many were there? Eight? Probably, uh, probably more than that, I'd say. Crosley Field. Western Hills Viaduct. With the lights on and the cars. This is just below the Sigma Chi house. This um, train yard here. The prison. It's just the way they build it, it's a big factory. Let's take the trolley. Those trolleys are big, aren't they? Not a New Orleans are about that big. We, we ride them down there, or have ridden them down there. But the trolleys are gone in Cincinnati. Taking a ride on a trolley. Stopping at the zoo. Okay, didn't this used to buzz back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, so we're sitting here on the uh, train car. Taking a trolley ride. What building is that? Look at him. somebody walking by. Trisha's big boy is a uh, big boy is the local franchise for Bob's big boy. My uncle worked there for 42 years, and when he retired, he was able to uh, he was able to throw out the first pitch for the Cincinnati Reds game, which was a which was a great uh, neat honor for him. Frisch's Cincinnati restaurant since probably the 50s, somewhere in there. Nineteen fifty to eighty, or nineteen fifty to now, I guess. Was <laughs> started by Pal Crosley, who also started WLW Radio, which at one time was five hundred thousand watts. You can hear it all the way around the world. Anyway, he started this car company too, and radios and other things he manufactured too. Yeah, so right over here, those scooters up there, they're at UC. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they get left all over the place. That's modern uh, modern technology transportation. This is an area that they used to have WL or WLW, World War II stuff. And they haven't put it back in yet. I don't know what they're going to do to this area, but I'm sure they'll be doing something. Back in the day, the World War II thing was one of my favorite things, so hopefully they'll do something similar to that. Not sure. This 
Ford's teams of Cincinnati. Which is cool. Did, did Ezra Charles fight in the war? I don't know. So Crosley would did TVs too. So here's a Crosley TV. Early TV. To give you an example, that's how big the screen is. Eyewitness 12. Here's where Apple iPhone originated. <clears throat> Grew and Watch Company is where my grandpa worked. He probably, uh, some of these, a couple of these watches, the 1927 one he might have worked on. Yeah, you could. <laughs> they got a paddle wheel up here. They used to have a little display in here, I feel like. Kind of a neat little scene down here underneath the museum. Let's go down the riverboat. <laughs> Way. This is kind of neat. That's how the big paddle wheelers turn being turned. Be a busy night out on the city tonight. Can't go upstairs. Mm -hmm. They used to have real water in the river too, but they took that out. Yeah, that's real. crowded now. Ornaments on this tree are pretty cool. Brady's making a call.
was an important phone call. All right. This is Jeff with Jeff Trips. And we're walking out of the museum. It's about 4.30. We just saw our Omnimax Theater on the dinosaurs of Antarctica. First big trip, really. First big trip, yeah. First trip that's... I might, my, my finger's over the part of the, <laughs> the camera, but that's all right. So, but anyway, it was cool. Um, 2023, hopefully we'll have a lot of Jeff's trips. And uh, it was a great day. I hope you had a great day. What is today? Today is, today is 31st. 31st, December 31st, 2022. The last day as of the recording of this. Can't wait to take y'all on trips throughout the year, baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll see ya. Oh, there it is. Union Terminal. Better known as Cincinnati Museum.